One of my favorite things in the chemistry lab is calcium carbide. Calcium carbide looks like this. It's just these little rock-like black pebbles. Okay, and it's calcium with a couple carbons hooked to it, hence the name calcium carbide. But the great thing about calcium carbide is, once you add a little bit of water, it releases acetylene gas. And acetylene gas is highly combustible. If you put that acetylene gas under pressure, well, it blows up. So I'm gonna show you its combustion and I'm gonna show you what happens when we let it build up some pressure too. All it takes to get the excitement started is a little bit of water. It starts to dissolve and release that acetylene gas, which very easily lights on fire in the presence of oxygen. But calcium carbide has a long history in the mining industry as well. In fact, miners used to wear calcium carbide lamps up here on their head and the calcium carbide goes in the bottom. Water drips out of the top right here into this and it makes a flame. I've got a video that I made going through the whole process of getting this exact carbide lamp up and running again. It was my grandma's and it hadn't worked. It was my grandma's dad's actually and it hadn't been working since 1938. If you want to watch that video, you can find it right here or if you can't click on that, I'll put it in the description down at the bottom. Of course, carbide is cool when it's in the lantern or when you see it on the tabletop but carbide is a whole lot better when you see it in something like this. This is just PVC and I've got a cap on the end, a little hole drilled in the top. Now this, we can turn into a cannon. So in order to make this, I built a little stand down here at the bottom, just cut it out and painted it. And I picked up some two and a half inch PVC and then I put a threaded end down at the one end oh, and drilled a little hole. So that's a two and a half inch end with a screw on cap that you can screw on tightly. I also decided to build a bigger one and used some three inch PVC. And then down at the end of that one, I put a bit of a different chamber because I can actually use this cannon now to shoot things besides carbide, but you'll have to watch that in a different video later on. Now I'm using one gram of carbide. That's not very much, but it gives me a nice good boom. About 20 milliliters of water is all it takes. Here we go, water in. I'm using a handkerchief to stuff down in there as wadding because I've got all these other great things I want to shoot out of the cannon, but I don't want them to start on fire. So here's a little bit of confetti that my kids cut up. I got some glittery string and I'm just going to pack it full because when you're shooting inside, you don't want to shoot a heavy ball and put it through the wall. In three, two, one. Now, obviously this makes a big mess, but no worries. I've brought along my own cleanup crew. Put the kids to work. Then it was time to head outside. Where is it? I saw it! <laughs> oh, get it! <laughs> Holy cow. Go, go, go! The first time I was ever exposed to calcium carbide was on the island of Borneo. I was doing some ecology work there and they were having trouble with the elephants eating all of the crops. So the locals got some steel tube, they got some carbide, and they made a cannon to make a whole bunch of noise to scare away the elephants without having to kill them. Pretty ingenious. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Sweet, what's up? Give me a five, dog. <laughs> The kids decided it was time for the big gun. We had raided the dollar store before we came out to the firing range and found these really Three, special two, football looking things. One. And boy, they what? flew. I mean, really flew. It blew this thing off of it. Awesome. It blew this thing off. Yeah. This is what's so cool about carbide. I mean, being able to launch this out there was something that was used on people's helmets back in the mines. We're building up pressure. We've turned it into a cannon and we're shooting the ball. Oh, I don't know, 150 yards downrange. That's pretty amazing. Now, this is nothing to play with. Carbide could be potentially really dangerous in the acetylene. So don't play with it at home, but if you're liking what you're seeing with the field science, look all around the screen here. I've got videos popping up 
and thanks to my kids for coming out and chasing the ball with me today and helping learn about science. Guys, give me a high five. Yeah. Keep on learning.